So accuracy is how close we are to the actual value. More, uh, less the error, more the accuracy. I hope you got the point. Now, precision. So precision is basically how close the measured values are. In in this case, we are not uh, seeing the uh, measured value to the true value. We are seeing how close the measured values are. For example, in the previous case, we have a person who has a mass of 60 gauge, but their machines, which is planning uh, 70.1 kg. Or we can say, uh, we can, uh, I will take an example. Let's say we have only one machine. A person comes, he measures the mass, first time he gives 70.1 kg. Then again, he uh, uses the instrument to give 70.5 kg. In again example, it gives 70.7 kg. So we can see that the original mass or the actual mass of the object was 60 kg, but the measured values are a way more far from the actual value. So we, we will, we are saying that these measurements are not accurate, but these measured values are close to each other. So we will say that these measurements are precise. These measurements are precise, but not accurate. Uh, we can take an, another example. Let's say we have a bullseye. And this is the actual value. Some person comes and throw our darts, which are here, here, and here. Another person comes. He again tries his love. And he throws the darts like this. So in this case, in this case, case number one, we can see the measured values are way far from the actual value. So these are precise because they are close to each other, but not accurate. In this case, case number two, we can see that the measured values are close to the accurate value. Also, they are at the same distance to each other also. So it is also precise. We can discuss now the graphs. Let's say we have a graph over here. And let's say it is a true value over here. So if we have a curve like this, we have curved like this. We have a peak on the true value. It's mean that the our data is accurate. 
and our measurements are closer to each other. They are not spread far apart. It is also precise. In the second example, we have the graph like this. Mm -hmm. Then the true value over here is, let's say, we can say that our true value is, uh, uh, basically true value is, uh, is on the peak right over here. That is accurate, data is accurate, but the mere values are far from each other. So it is uh, not precise. Number fourth one, let's say this is a true value and we have a curve like this. Now you tell. So you can see that we are far from the uh, accurate value. So it is not accurate, but these values are close to each other. That is a precise. Another example. Let's say this is a true value and we draw a curve like this. So this is neither precise nor accurate. I hope you got the idea. In the next video, we are going to discuss about uh, errors and uncertainty.